What's up guys, Wilder Wednesday, coming at you with another Rage Chain of Legends video. And today is a good day for getting some legendaries on the account. Now we have a regular CVC, rather than a personal reward CVC. And normally I don't recommend pulling shards for a regular CVC. But if you're inclined to do so, we have some good options. First of all, with Ancient Sacreds and please don't use your Primal Shards today. We have some very good options. Uh, we got Walking Tomb Drain, who I personally use in my Sand Devil 25 team. And then we got Korgar, who is an okay, okay defensive champion with an ally protect. We got Mortu, who is a, an annoying champion to go against because he can just blast through anything in arena and of course Artak who once upon a time was a free champion you don't have him or you want another copy he's a great choice but but void shards you could choose Claydna you could but got a 15 times chance, a progressive chance, if you will, for the White Queen, White King, Narcissus. Now, again, perhaps you already have him because he was a guaranteed Lego champ. I did not have the required number of void shards, but I am getting very close to mercy. So today, is it the day that I get a new Void Legendary Champion from Void Shards? We're going to find out together. I promise you. Andrissa is okay. Don't really use her. I promise you we will be getting Legendary today. You'll see. You'll see. Very exciting Legendary. Vanguard, technically a champion. Get another epic, Man Eater. I think this will plus one or plus two a Man Eater for me. I don't really use my Man Eaters. I don't. Okay, got four Void Shards down. I've got to hit Mercy eventually. Here we go. Yes, 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 this is the best, this is the best, yeah, yeah, I didn't know what, I didn't know what his intro looked like, so I was a little concerned for a second, you never know what you're gonna get with Void Shards, I mean, I could have gotten a dupe physics, or a dupe Supreme El Hain, or something like that, we got the White King! I can finally compete in Arena! Yeah, let's go! So, I refuse to ever actually look at his kit. Even though he wipes me out quite often. Uh, this champion will receive 50% less damage when attacked by enemies, including bosses and their minions, out of their active turn. Okay. If White Queen and Korra is on the same team, she will be, because she was a fusion that I did, this champion will receive no damage when attacked by enemies out of their active turn. Wow. This effect does not apply against bosses and their minions. It's okay, he's an arena champion. This champion skills will also ignore shield and strengthen buffs. Champion is insane, attacks all enemies, will ignore 25% of the target's defense, places an extra hit on targets under shield or strength and beat, strength and buffs. Damage inflicted by the skill cannot be decreased by enemy passive skills or masteries, except for by the passive skills of bosses. Damage inflicted by the skill cannot be increased by either the champion's masteries or allied passive skills, except when attacking. Bosses. 
and is a one, has a 30% chance of randomly increasing the cooldown of one of the target skills by two turns. This effect cannot be resisted if the White Queen is on the same game. This champion's insane! I can't believe we actually got him. Can't believe we actually got him. Now we can save up our Void Charts for a very long time. Now I'm going to save up for a guaranteed Void Shark, Void Champion. Now, maybe they come out with one in like a week or something stupid. That would be a bummer. Hopefully they come out with one in six months when I can actually afford one because it will take me a while to save up those void charts but we got him but we're not done we're not getting one new legendary today we're not getting two new legendaries today we are getting three because first of all we're gonna finish off the fusion this champion is limited time it's only four days left please do not forget please do not forget we gotta go let's go 30,000 points forget what I got for the void or I didn't notice but now it's time for a brand new champion number three this one probably won't be as exciting looking I finished Marius missions. Finally, months and months and months of hard work. Finished it off yesterday. It took so much work. So many gems. It's amazing that I still have gems because every mission, every mission it seemed, just took so much energy. I mean, whether you are trying to collect something from the iron twins if you're trying to get mythical pieces of gear if you are doing live arena battles i got i had to get 40 live arena wins and i did it in three days because i was just blasting through gems i didn't care because i wanted marius now finally thirty thousand points is all you get for it even when it's void he has no intro they really should have an intro for those. We got three brand new champions. He's a skinwalker. He's amazing. He's immune to turn meter reduction effects and decreased speed. That's incredible. I mean, where, where do people like him besides Arena? They like him in Hydra? Spider? Almost everywhere. Not Fire Knight. Apparently not Ice Column, just about everywhere else, just about everywhere else. I mean, now I can make a team with White King, White Queen, maybe throw in Marius, maybe Marishka, I don't know. I have a Marishka, I don't have Taurus, but now I have the counter to Marishka and, Tar Marishka and Taurus. Okay, so he's got an enemy max HP attack. That's interesting. Okay, he's got increased accuracy, increased defense with a stun. He's not quite a mythical, but it's quite the champion. Plus, he's got the enfeeble. That's crazy. We got the fusion. I honestly didn't pay too close of attention to the fusions kit. I just knew that people kind of liked him in Hydra. Uh, he's got a hex. Okay, that makes sense. Increase attack. Okay, debuff, debuff spread on the hex. Okay. I mean, probably not as good as Mishinaki, but still supposedly very good. Maybe he fits into one of my teams. We'll find out, but the big one, the big one, 
Fight King Narcisse. Let's go. Reviews, arena offense, arena defense. I mean, probably not really going to use him anywhere else besides arena, as far as I know. But let's go. We got the White King. So cool. So cool. Can't believe it actually worked. I've had... When it comes to Void Legends, I've had terrible luck when it comes to the numbers. I almost always go to Mercy. But the quality, the quality of my Void Legendaries has always been very good. We go Infinity. I pulled... Mariska, Baron, who's maybe not top tier, and I'm probably going to be using him less now. I got Warlord. This is the worst one. I got Tormund right before we got another chance to get a free Tormund. Kind of a bummer there. And then I got Supreme Gaelic, who's great in Hydra. And I think that's it. It's all my Void Legendaries now. That I've pulled from shards. Obviously, you know, Arbiter, Vizix, whatever. That's it. This is a great day. Great day. Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, this is my current subscriber count. I'm trying to get it to a thousand. Taking a little bit of time. You can help me get there with a subscription today. And I'll be back with more Raid Shadow Legends content, including, but not limited to, some new Marius the Gallant content. Let's go, we got Marius and the White King on the same day, plus a fusion. That got me 90,000 CBC points. Sure would have been nice if it was during personal CBC, personally don't care that much about regular CBC, but now I'm up to 116,000 points and we're actually winning this which is nice uh, we won the last personal reward CBC great for clan okay okay and I got a blue shard for my troubles that's it thanks so much for watching I'm Wilder Wednesday like the video subscribe let me know what you think about my poll and I'll check you out in the next Rage and Legends video. See ya!